Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sama. So um, last week I shared the picture of, uh, it was actually a post somebody made on Facebook. So I screenshot it and I shared it on my community tab here on YouTube. Well, all hell broke loose. I'm surprised at some of the comments. By the way, it was actually a picture of uh, Pastor Kumuyi coming out of a limousine. Okay, and some of the comments, like I keep saying, some church people really need to be coming down. Seriously, some church people really need to be coming down. What came to my mind is this. This is a man that previously he was, um, you know, they don't believe in watching television. I know deeper life people that, uh, you know, they don't watch TV. They don't relax their hair. They don't do braids. They don't do, they don't wear earrings. They, the women always tie their hairs. There are a lot of things they do not do that they do not partake in. Their name is called Deeper Life. They believe in living a deeper Christian life. That's how I understand it. Let me explain because some people do not know what my post meant. Let me explain, okay? Now, over the years, there's been so much that has changed. For example, as far as I know, they now watch TV. I know someone that is a Deeper Life woman. She now puts relaxer on her hair. I think she now wears earrings. I don't know if she still goes to that church. But there are a lot of things that has really changed slowly changed some things they rejected in the past that they now accept let's put it out then their intentions are good their intentions are amazing they believe in living a deeper christian life where you avoid temptation avoid distraction and i believe in that thing about i rather overdo it than underdo it you understand you cannot miss heaven because god is going to say you were too born again but you can miss heaven by not being born again enough if that makes sense, like you're not being Christianly enough. You won't make hell for being too Christianly. You were too Christian. You were too much like Christ. But you can miss it for not being Christianly enough. I really hope I'm making sense. Their intentions are amazing. We cannot deny that. Their intentions are good. But the fact that they have started relaxing a bit, what comes to my mind or what my message is this, it still shows you the fact that bottom line, this is why we are humans. It's like Igbo language. You see, sometimes it's hard to translate it directly, but that is basically saying, this is us being humans. We don't know it all. We can be trying our best, but we don't know it all. Like, for example, I'll give you an example. There was a time when I frowned at women wearing trousers. I still actually do not wear trousers. If I even wear, I wear a lot of leggings, but I always wear big tops. I like the idea of hair being covered, my backside being... I, I, that is how I prefer it. I believe in modest dressing. It's who I am. Even if I stop being a Christian today, I still believe in modesty. As in, you know, covering myself and, you know, the world does not need to see some things. Okay? But there was a time when I was very, very hardcore. I look at people that wore trousers and I'd be like, oh my goodness, can she not see that her shape is showing? You know what I mean by shape? I, I still today, the, the idea of the shape showing in front, you know what I mean, as a, in the front of a woman. Oh, I used to feel like nobody needs to see that. But I've, I think to a great extent, I've stopped being that rigid, uh, looking at people, but I still choose what I wear. And I still dress that way, where everything I wear, I always make sure that this section is covered. I, I really hope I'm making sense, okay? But you won't believe, there was a time where all my skirts were long to my ankle. All my dresses were long to my ankle. Like that was my definition of modesty. But now I'm doing knee length or whatever. I always try to cover myself. Let me put it that way. I don't want to go too much into that. You know, I always try to dress modestly. That was me then. Now I'm a bit relaxed. It doesn't change the fact that my heart is still towards God. The same thing, because you make a post, you just assume that you have come to condemn Redeem or you have come to condemn Kumuyu. I don't even think I have any video of, of Kumuyu on my channel. I don't think so. Maybe if I have, maybe one. But what I'm showing you is this. Kumuyu, with all his good intentions and all of that, is human. He is not God. Every day, he may see differently and think differently and allow differently. Not too long ago, when his son got married and the girl was wearing a bit of makeup, while their own church people are not allowed at all. The way they dress, I'll actually, I'll insert a picture of what their typical deeper life wedding dresses should look like, okay? People were critical about it, like, how can your church be like this, this is not allowed, and then the pastors or the G.O. son is getting married, all those things are not allowed, were allowed for him. 
and then they whatever they tried to finally sort it i don't know what they did i can't remember how they handled that then but there was a bit of an opera about it how could the son's wedding was not like a deeper life wedding did the da look at the way the girl is dressed she had a bit of a makeup and all of, people were very critical about it okay now coming back to what i'm saying the fact that they begin to relax a bit it doesn't necessarily mean they're no longer born again it does not mean they were more born again before that now. It does not mean they have become less born again. It doesn't necessarily mean that. But every day people look at the world we live in and they say, oh, okay, you know, we can actually allow this. This is actually okay. You know, they change their minds with good intentions. Okay? Bottom line remains the fact that we are humans, we are not God, we do not know it all. And my point is this. No matter how well intended people are or how amazing their intentions are, but let's learn to focus on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. That's what the Bible says. Jesus is the author and finisher because let me tell you, I can change, you can change, Kumu, you can change, but guess who doesn't change? The Bible says he is the same yesterday, today, and forever, does not change. Am I saying Kumuyu is evil? That's not what I'm saying. You see, another thing about Kumuyu in a limousine is this. They don't believe in wearing gold. You know, they don't believe in unnecessary luxury. Like, um, you know, they believe in modesty, keeping it simple. Don't have all this extra whatever. Keeping life simple in general. Limousine for them would have been seen as vanity. That's the word I am looking for. Would have been seen as vanity. All you need is a car to move it from A to Z. Why even be in a limousine? That is a show-off thing. This is what the typical way they would say it. I remember somebody comment was like, hey, who told you is his own? You know, it's possible it was rented. It was possible. It, it, that is not what I'm saying. There's a time when nobody will even dare approach him with a limousine because of their style of being, they don't want flashiness. They don't want, you know, show-offness. They don't want any of those things. So this is a complete different thing from what they used to be am i saying they are now evil that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying my biggest point and i'm making is this human beings can change even i told you guys sometimes when i read a bible verse and i'm like wow i didn't understand it like that before now i understand it differently does it mean i was not born again before no because i now saw something different no get my point i like to emphasize for those that may still miss it bottom line is this this is the kumuyi but some of the things that were very rigid about it have become a bit relaxed. Does it mean he's less born again than before? No. But they have seen it differently. And people should learn that one person that never changes, God never changes. The same forever. Let's learn to follow God and let the Bible be the standard. Nothing else. Let God be the standard. The standard that has been set down by sending Jesus to come and die. And Bible said he came and he dwelt among us. He came to show us how to do it. He came to show us how to live this life. We say Christianity. We're talking about following the life and teachings of Christ. Jesus came to teach us how to live the life we're expected to live. Love your enemies. Bless those that curse you. Be a good human being. Be a good Samaritan. You see somebody on the street that is hungry. Be of help to them. Be meek, be gentle, be kind. You understand? He came to show us all of that. He showed us by example. Focus on that. Human beings can change their minds. Like I'm emphasizing that again. That is the point of that video. Human beings can change, but God never changes. Jesus was the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. I, I really hope my message is clear. Because from the comment I saw that some of the people did not get the message. You see, we have this type of people that do not realize that you don't practice Christianity like a zombie. You cannot see something like, eh, let's not talk about it. Let's talk about it. And then you can actually explain and understand. The days of don't ask questions, just follow. Those days are gone. These are days when you look at what pastor is doing and say, is it correct? Is it not correct? In this case, it's not even about what he's doing is correct. What I'm saying is that some people feel like, oh, that's my pastor. How can you say it? No, he's human. He's your pastor, but he's human. There's nothing wrong in saying, yes, my pastor has changed. It doesn't mean he has changed to be a bad person. He has seen things differently, you know, and he has reacted a bit. Now we're allowed to watch television. Now we're allowed to... All those days when you'll be like, don't ask questions, don't feel like this, don't say this. That, those days are going. Let me not say they are gone. They are going because they are not finished going, but they are going. The next generation we ask, I said it in a lot of my videos, 
Our generations past, our fathers and their generation, they never asked any questions. They never discussed anything. Anything they do like this, I see they didn't see. They sit on their, uh, they keep quiet. This Sorosoke generation are speaking. The next one, they will speak. And we better have answers. If you don't have answers, don't try to over holinize it. I, an example. You see, I have grown children and they are seeing the world the way it is. We are Christians, but they see things. I'm like, oh, but one of my children asked me once and said, Mom, why are we suffering for the sins of Adam? Why Adam did wrong? Why didn't God just send him out of the garden? Why did he just get punished? And then we that didn't do anything, we get to stay there. And he was asking a genuine question. Why do we have to suffer for what we did not do? Because we live in a world where we believe in justice. We live in a world where no court will send a child to jail for what their father did. No. You get my point. So why would then our just God do something different? That was his question. Let me tell you guys. Me, I know they pretend though. I don't know how to be pretending. I said, look, there are some questions that even me, I don't have the answer. I'm not going to come here and lie to you. I said, Christianity, I have questions. I have some questions I don't have an answers. I don't have answers to. But I say to myself that the answers that I have are what keeps me in the faith. There are some things that I do not understand in Christianity. There are some things, right? But the ones that I do are enough to keep me in the faith. I have always told myself, I have nothing to lose by being a Christian. What can I lose by being a Christian? By being a good person, loving my neighbor as myself, blessing those that uh, curse me, be a good citizen, help the poor, you know, do be good. What has Christianity is telling me to be a good person at the end of the day, even if when we all leave this world, we found out that there was, was, there was actually no God and all of this is, what would I have lost? A faith that tells me to be good. What would I have lost? Nothing. It will, it has cost me nothing to be a Christian. If I decide, choose not to believe. And then at the end of the day, the end of being that there is a God, it would cost me everything. You get it. So there is nothing wrong in saying sometimes that, ah, I don't know why my pastor did that. You don't have to feel like I must always, whatever my pastor says is yea and amen. You can't do that. My children need to be able to explain the faith they practice to their friends, their unbelieving friends. So that generation of don't talk is a lie. So also okay, generation is where we are. We have to be able to have answers. If you don't have it, be honest enough to say, like I think, I don't know, when we meet God, we will ask him, say, ah, Baba, why you come punish us for what you had done? Do not we do one now. He, he must have an answer. But I won't let that be a reason why I walk away from Christianity because I said, like I said, I have nothing to lose by being a Christian. So at the same time, don't be too, yeah, because somebody mentioned your pastor, you just say, relax, be coming down. There was nothing I said in that post that would want some of you to be, you understand? Because, you know, if a pastor says something that's unbiblical, I will say, ah, that is unbiblical. Oh. Look at what the Bible says, though. It's left for you to take it. You see me, I'm not the, I'm not the do video they insult anybody. Watch my videos. I don't insult a curse at people. I'm trying to, I present what I present. It's left for you to take it or to leave it. So this Kumuyus thing, I'm not saying he has done anything evil. I have not condemned the limousine. All I'm showing you is that his mentality changed. Showing you that he's human. He can change today. He can change tomorrow. The only one that is stable is who the Bible talks about. It was the same yesterday. He is the same today. I will be the same forever. As always, you're free to leave whatever your opinions are in the comment section. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.